On this, the most harrowing episode of NSFW show ever recorded, we're joined by Hack 5's Shannon. Yes, Snubs is here. And boy, is it a high adventure that she participates in. We do a review reckoning. Don't get Brody. And one of us has their lights go out mid-episode. Who suffers the blackout? Who gets Brody? Whose reviews are reckoned? You have to find out on this episode of NSFW Show. Also, whoa, we're not drunk, if that's what you're thinking. Hey, buddy. Oi. Yeah. Yeah, this guy. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is NSFW episode 124, recorded on April 24th, 2012. Ah, mute Shannon! This episode is brought to you by Squarespace.com, the fast and easy way to create a high quality website or blog. For a free trial and 10% off your first purchase on new accounts, go to squarespace.com and use offer code NSFW4. And Netflix. Watch thousands of TV episodes and movies on your PC, Mac, iPad, iPhone, or TV instantly. All streamed directly to you, saving you time, money, and hassle. For your free 30-day trial, go to netflix.com slash twit. For the Webernets, the show that is nominally safe for work. I'm Brian Brushwood, your humble BFF, joined as always by my left arm sickle and are a frozen piece of diamond buttocks. Justin Robert Young, how are you, sir? Well, uh, there's only one way to take a biopsy, and that's to freeze it. And yep. uh, then you can uh, take all the measurements you need, sir. That's what you got to take a chip Every- off the old chunk, the butt chunk. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are back with yet another episode of NSFW Show, and joining us is really, uh, it, it, it's an we don't absolute deserve this. pleasure. We, we do not deserve this, and, it's, and no. it's too long in coming, and we need to make her very, very happy or she'll never come back. Well, you know, here's the deal. We, uh, I got word that like, it's always great in this small podcasting community, you know, when uh, people that you like happen to like the stuff that you do. And this was, I was very happy to be informed. One of those examples, ladies and gentlemen, you know her from Hack 5, the lovely Shannon Snubs Moore. Yeah, look at that. She's already pre-gaming. How you doing, Shannon? Oh no, and your audio went away. You suddenly, what happened? Oh no. Oh, we oh, had a- mute Shannon. Mam, <laughs> Mute Shannon had a mic. Man, my name. She accidentally hit mute. Not man, my name. Whoa, oh, Mute Shannon. Bad, bad. <laughs> there you go. They're blaming. They're Hi. blaming Time Warner Cable. There Hi. she is. Hello, Shannon. <laughs> yes. How are you? <laughs> that totally was not my fault. Time Warner, Time Warner is in the chat room right now, saying, "Ha ha! I strike again." Yes. Although uh, uh, they're oh, uh, oh now we got, an we got an echo. Problem. Yeah, now we got echo. So you got to turn down the no, turn down the echo. Son of a. How's this? How's this? Better. No, uh, you can kind of still hear me. You'll have to turn can, down. Get, get, maybe, maybe we can hook up uh, headphones. Could that happen? Well, My she... headphones don't work. God Hold damn it. On. Whoa, mute Shannon. Bland, <laughs> whoa, mute Shannon. Bland, 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 bland,
<laughs> wow! Oh, you know, you're Shanna. <laughs> I tried the headphones earlier. They didn't work. <laughs> the headphones Wait, do nothing. Go in, my did ears. Did green or purple? I mean, yeah, green or pink. <laughs> I'll oh, tell you what. No if pink. I knew, <laughs> I'd be I'd live a nicer life. Hold on. Oh wait. All right. I'll try my USB ones. Uh, sure. Why not? Let's. Do, it's always advisable. They, tech support gurus say that while you're live on the air is the best time to try new things. So what do we do with this episode? Had an idea. Mam and dam. Gonna oh. try. Let's beat think. Mam and dam. Whoa, you Shannon. Man to man. Hey, what are we doing today, Justin? Oh, my God. Well, this would be a great time to set up the show, wouldn't it, now, instead of singing stupid songs? <laughs> Brian, I'm glad you asked. We are going to play a new game and an old game, and one in which a live viewer to this show can gain ultimate glory by testing their raconteur skills against me, Brian, and the lovely Shannon. Whoa, mute Shannon. <laughs> going to judge your stories in a game we call Don't Get Brody. More info on that in a second, but first... We will play a game dreamed up by none other than NSFW, Diamond Club Elite. He actually made the shirt that I'm wearing right now. P. Delante just delivered unto us a piece of spun gold. Oh, my God. The of Odin's cloak and said, please unspool this. He descended. Oh, actually, this. I was sitting there. I was actually in the bathroom when all of a sudden I heard the heavens open up. And Patrick Delahanty just descended with tablets made of websites <laughs> and said, I bring to you your latest game, Review Reckoning. And there I we said, go. Well, what, what is Review Reckoning, my lord? And all right. Here's the deal. Review Reckoning is a game compiled of Amazon reviews. Now, you yeah. might say, there's nothing interesting there. Shut up immediately. This game sucks. And I'd say, hold your horses, mister. Here's the deal. We're not going to tell you what the product is, and we're just going to read the review. Me, Shannon, and Brian, are we going to work together as a team? Is that what we're going to do? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, we're going to discuss it out, and we'll, we'll pick our own favorites. We'll vote. You know, everyone's got their own. Dis you know what? We should do this together. And it's majority rules. We got we to gotta be on a team. And then whoever, whoever had the wrong idea can you know, be over there and be all like, well, my idea was better. Sure. <laughs> all right. I, so uh, I already. I agree. There, okay, good. So we're all on the same page here. So, for example, first one we got here. Let me go ahead and let's, let's classy this up here. Here we go. Well, here, do you want to do voices? Do you want to do the review in voices? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Okay, Shannon, quick. Yes. Um, name name uh, a quasi- racist stereotype voice for Justin to say to say this in um, maybe a offensive Chinese Scottish. man Scottish Ooh, yeah. that's good Ooh. Scottish is good I like Asian <laughs> you like Asian <laughs> <laughs> well mute said it man my name like Asian voices man my name make just a good read the review one man my name Whoa. Shannon. All right, here we go. Uh, hey, by the way, I could almost swear I'm gonna have to play back when the actual episode comes out. But it sounded like she says, "I like Asian." That's what I heard. Oh no! That's definitely no. what I heard. Don't make fun of my heritage. <laughs> no, all right. Well, right, I'm that's Shannon. racist. Okay, so let me read the review as Shannon asked me to. Okay. Oh, this book is thankfully the masterpiece we have all been waiting for. I must admit, I can't fathom the flag direction of this seminal work. My best guess is the long way for this tome has taken its toll on some. I also can't understand why so many reviewers feel that this book doesn't live up to earlier book. It's great, we all agree. The game of toilet paper, clash of porcelain balls, and storm of splinters are classics. I will concede that Feast of Feces did drop the ball in some areas. However, I think that Icon Group has redeemed themselves with this book. Okay, so perhaps we didn't advance as far as some would have liked. I was certainly keen to learn more whether or not Nigeria province would choose Cheetah or Oak. But at the same time, I can enjoy the rich world painted by the author. I can... Oh, and offer as a huge fan, I must say, it doesn't matter how long it takes to release Wind of Cuba calls. I will be appreciative that you have taken the time to do so with your best work. All right. So now, first of all, let's make it very clear. This is a real review on Amazon for a real product. And it's one of these four things. It is either potty time with Elmo. Colon and rectal surgery, anorectal operations, master techniques and general surgery. The art of potty training, strategy and tactics for low-stress parenting. Or, ironically enough, 
the 2009 to 2014 outlook for wood toilet seats in Greater China. <laughs> now, all right. Yes. This would be now reading it. Obviously, for oh. those of you who didn't get all the references, this is a a parody of people reviewing a dance with or of dragons because I can never remember the title. A dance, the, dance, dance with. with Dance with dragons, right? You're, uh, you're reading the all the dancing jokes. dragons. That's it's right. The, the mute. Oh, mute Shannon. <laughs> I don't know. If, that's gonna be my go-to for anything. Uh, yes. So, but, but okay. So, so yeah, it's supposed to be like a George R. R. Martin review where people are are talking about uh, the the previous one. So this is a a jokey review for this product. But we need to guess which. But here, okay, so here's the thing. It's here's about. the thing. All of this, it's all clearly, we agree, a game of toilet paper, a clash of porcelain bowls, a storm of splinters. So he's riffing on the fact that toilets are clearly involved. Which would seemingly, seemingly rule out colon and rectal surgery. Yeah. <laughs> well, and <sighs> because there's not a toilet know. involved in rectal surgery, right? I, I think it's, I think it's D. I think it's D. I think it's D as well. Uh, once and for all, whether Ningja province would choose cedar or oak. That's clearly talking about the all 2014 right. outlook. Are, are we all in? We got to be on the same team, though. I'm, I'm locked in. I'm locked in on the 2009-2014 outlook for wooden toilet seats in Greta China. <laughs> in Greta China. <laughs> all right. You better get your finger on on the button to see if we're right. Oh! Yeah. Wait, it's four hundred and ninety-five dollars. We got it. That's a book. It's a book for four hundred and ninety-five dollars, and it's gotta be wrong. That's it's it is definitely four hundred and ninety-five dollars for the twenty fourteen outlook for wood toilet seats in Greater China. Oh my oh, god, do they that's even amazing. have prime shipping? That's amazing. Oh, it better be. <laughs> I'll be pissed. If I fork over four hundred and ninety-five dollars and I don't get it in two days, oh my god, that's awesome! All right, so that means we're going to take it for that. That's one and zero. Oh. We're a hundred percent. We're rocking yes. and rolling. Team NSF Dubs is uh, is is here. Oh my god, this is a very long review. I don't know that we could read this whole thing. There's no way. I can't even count that many words, much less read them. Uh so right. okay, well let's do this. Well, do let's we do want this. to pick another one or no, no. Well, 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 we have nine, so uh, yeah. All right. Well, here we'll go. We'll go. Let me let me take one. a look. There we go. This Jeez. one's. They're all a billion. They're, all, they're Jesus Christ. Miles Good long. God. <laughs> Thanks, Patrick. You ever listen to the Effie show? <laughs> uh, look, we'll just read. We'll just read uh, highlights. Oh, yeah, they start dumping. Okay, uh, four is good. Number four. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> all right. I'll read this. Uh, one. Uh, Shannon, uh, name a occupation. School teacher. Okay, Brian. Yep. You are a school teacher who uh, also is uh, a time, you're actually, you're a time traveler posing as a school teacher and uh, your leg was bitten off by an alligator and you're <laughs> haunted by the memory. The, uh, the alligator bite happened in 1904. Okay. And, you used to be best friends with the president. Okay. But now you're time traveling and you're posing as a teacher. Right. Okay. But I'm from 1904, right? You're uh, Technically, you are, were born in 1887. Yep. yep. All right. Which, which makes you in your early 20s when you okay. got your leg bit off by an alligator. All right. Here we go. After being friends with the president. I'm ready. I'm ready. Dateline. Today, I'm a very opinionated man, see? Most men hide their feelings and thoughts, but not me. I share my opinions. Yeah, that's right. With the world through Facebook, Twitter, Blogger, Tumblr, Pinterest, message boards, you name it. I've never gotten much of an audience or any feedback besides people telling me my opinions are worthless. Too bad they're the ones that are worthless. I have so much to offer. But instead of putting up more pictures of my hamsters, which are so much cuter than kittens, or blogging about the pretty girls who think they're too awesome to be kind for the people in the service industry, I decided to buy this shirt. When I wear it, I have the overwhelming confidence that I am right and that everyone else is wrong. So much so, I don't even need to prove it. I just float around with a zen-like superconscious, free to take on whatever challenges face my day by day. I am calm and collected in this shirt, whether giving a presentation in my grad school class or working my part-time job at the mall bubble tea stand. I could have used a little bit more pain in the voice, but I think that I'm dead inside. <laughs> you internalized it. Well, I guess maybe. All right. Uh, then I appreciate that you brought a little bit more to the character. Good. Uh, okay, 
So that is A, either A, the Mountain Unicorn Castle Purple T-shirt, <laughs> B, Gem and the Holograms playing Vintage Hot Pink Juniors T-shirt, oh C, my God. Team Edward Vampire Black Juniors T-shirt, <laughs> yes. or C, the Nickelodeon I Carly I'm Bold and Always Sassy Girls shirt. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, these are really good fake outs that he's put in there. But making yeah. it multiple choice made it way better. I'm thinking Nickelodeon iCarly I, uh, from the. Uh, my gut says the same thing. I'm feeling iCarly. Talking about pretty girls. Yeah, well, because that would be the 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 point of the first part that he's opinionated, and and so the 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 the, the iCarly one is I'm bold and always sassy. Yeah, the other um, ones because that's the only one that actually <clears throat> talks about uh, how do you feel like because he's acting like the T-shirt makes him feel a certain way or says something about him, and this is the only one that really has anything saying about it. Yeah, although the gem and the holograms, that's that's an awesome I mean, reference. And that's I, saying something. I believe Patrick would slip that in there to mess with it. I'm 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 committed to iCarly. Dude, our also, show. Oh, okay. Here's the other factor. Yeah. Think about it. Think about who set this up. Patrick set this up. And remember, early on, somebody asked me to explain how NSFW was different from iCarly, and I couldn't. Do you remember that? <laughs> no, I don't remember. It was, that. Uh, yeah, I was like, it pretty much is, but with penises. It's it's pretty <laughs> much iCarly. It totally is. Yeah. Say thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Not that I've on. watched iCarly. What? what is this? I don't remember this. You don't. You don't remember that? Oh yeah, no, it totally is. But it's Wait, the, our I don't, show I don't is... know what I. I don't, I'm not. I'm, I'm iCarly deficient. What? How is this like iCarly? Have you ever seen iCarly? No. Go watch iCarly. It's pretty much it's kids Can you doing give me a thumbnail show. description so I know that I've been fulfilling my destiny as iCarly. Apparently, I, I I I don't know how to tell you outside of imagine us as prepubescent little girls and uh, doing all the same bits. Okay, all right. Com Often I do that. Go com ahead. Go com on. Complete with like the squaz possibly offensive race racial humor and uh, uh, utter failures. We stir that stuff up. I Carly? There's lots of backpedaling. For Someone things makes they may a have racist said. joke in iCarly? No, Someone no. Does like... I'm, I'm joking about that. I was, I was like, oh, I saw <laughs> oh iCarly. Okay, no, Why are you so racist? That's, that's no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, right, no, no. I'm going to say something and you tell me whether or not they'd say it in iCarly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play a different game. Let's play <laughs> this game where we have to pick. Uh, yeah, you got to see iCarly because it's Eat. totally. Sure. Wait, you say B or D? No, D. Yeah, D, D is in dog. D is in <laughs> awesome. I'm going to say D is in dog fisting. Is that oh. something that they say in our Carly? <laughs> oh, my God. That's a very special episode they have. <laughs> like, you know, like, like, like you would, you'd make a fist like a dog would. That's <laughs> like dog a dog fist, would? Bro. <laughs> Okay, all right. Give me uh, your paw. Dog fist. Nickelodeon, I Carly, I'm bold and always sassy girl shirt. You better get ready because I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Oh. No, the unicorn? Oh. You lose. <laughs> you lose. Or you no points. And may God have mercy on your soul. Wow, we really took a dump on that one, huh? Yeah. Although that is a badass shirt and I really want it now. <laughs> I kind of do too. Uh, Justin, I don't say this very Man, often. I'd love to rob a children's hospital in that shirt. <laughs> <laughs> is that something I'd, I'd say on like iCarly? With children with that shirt on. <laughs> that is something they'd say on iCarly. <laughs> hey, can you uh, can you actually turn up your soundboard? Because it's actually a little hard to hear. Can uh, I? Can you turn up the volume on life? Yes, I can. It's, well, then yes, I very drink, easily drink turn another up Miller Light, and it'll it'll be freaking amazing. All right, well, we're one in one. That's not bad. It's not bad. I mean, I think like. Because I was reading this, and I thought it was the one that we thought it was, and uh, I was like, man, Patrick made a really crappy game, and I was ready to, like, yell at him, but apparently he's smarter than us. Yeah, no, he's, he's laughing good. in our face right now. All right, this one, this <laughs> one, we're going to have Shannon read. Shannon? Okay. Um, yes. Actually, you don't get to pick anything. We're going to pick for you. Oh, uh, damn it. Shannon, I want you to speak as somebody in a uh, – a, a very pro, uh, professional person at a massage hell spa. So it's like, you know, maybe quiet. So I'm Asian too. 
you run with it however you want. No, you, you no, we already it. did Asian. No, you're you're uh, you're like a Southern? career professional in the San Fernando Valley, and you're actually, like super holistic. I, I want to dial it back. I want to dial it back. You you read this as Darren Kitchen. How about that? <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. Ed, go for it. Okay. I'd have to say that I approve this product. I have found that during my busy life, no, I'm just kidding. That's humane. <laughs> I Port wanted Montgomery. to cut away, but then you wouldn't be able to see it. <laughs> Darren, Darren is, we're finally outing it. Darren is functionally illiterate. We, we didn't want to be the ones to, to out it, but uh, we got the inside scoop from Shannon. Unfortunately, you can't hack the alphabet, Darren. <laughs> okay. You have to learn to read. All right, here we go. Okay. I'd have to say that I approve this product. I found that during my busy life of running my own cult, I, I'm often faced with time constraints when it comes to looking my best. Either way, it may be the ICP concerts that I attend with my aging lover. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Wait, wait, pause, pause, pause Ironic. real quick. I, it's killing me that I can't show what you're doing so that you can read it because she's full on. She's like, I'm doing this. And she, she's, I'll cut over to it. All right. I'm all like, what? All right, let's see. Uh, either it may be the ICP concerts that I attend with my age and lover, or when I run through the night wearing a sheet pretending I'm a ghost. I really value the fast application and how easy this product is to use. They also have many colors, which look amazing when I ascend towards the heavens, on a path to the multiverse, on the day of the lost prophet's return. Oh, to rejoice, Sir Snickers, rejoice. Oh my God, are you kidding me? <laughs> How All right, and, and here are the options. We have either A, I'm not racist, I hate everyone equally t-shirt. B, the Amscan white face paint. C, Priva Ultra Plus waterproof sheet protector, 34 inches by 52 inches white. Or D, white satin top. <laughs> are you kidding me? I think I think we're out of our depth here. I think Patrick is is better than we give him credit for. Well, Shannon, do you really think C? Why do you think C? What is C again? The, Put that the sheet up. and the ghosts. Yeah, but there's face paint, and it says it says here. Okay, because look, either it be at the mini ICP concert I attend, right? You'd wear white face oh, paint there. Oh, that's insane clown posse, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> that was adorable, by the way. You're like, oh, that's the insane clown posse, isn't it? <laughs> I know those fellows. I'm so white. <laughs> so are they. <laughs> or, or when I run through the night wearing a sheet pretending I'm a ghost. Uh, the fast application so you wouldn't apply. I, I think it's got to be the Amscam white the face, face paint. paint. Yeah, you wouldn't you apply it. What? Like we thought it was, it was like that. But like also, what about a white satin top for this one? Mm. Because think about like everything they Doesn't describe. Doesn't take long to apply. Yeah, running my own cult, looking my best. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna because uh, if you show up to the gathering of the juggalos with a white satin top, you're the cock of the walk. People are paying attention to you, offering you a one hitter and high five you. <laughs> what if you show up to an ICP concert with a white satin top? <laughs> this is also something you would wear at an ICP concert. Is I'm not racist. I hate everyone equally. Sure, true. Also, uh, although paint. apparently I'm wrong, Cowgirl Curtis in the chat room says that if someone wore a white satin top to an ICP shoot, they an ICP show, they would get f worded. Oh. Which I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> I I I don't know. I, I'm gonna go with white face paint, man. I gotta I gotta feel like there's an internal. I feel like mind. you're you're really you're lacking in in ingenuity and creativity. On this I, one. I, you guys can <laughs> outvote me on this one. You guys, I mean, it's a team. Shannon, a team what do effort. you think? I'm gonna have to go with B. White face paint. Oh no! Yeah. See that? Yeah, that the face paint. Well, well, what would what would your alternative be? Pitch us. Sell us on. Sell us on your alternative. Okay. So here's what they say. Uh, if uh, it, whether it be I go to the ICP concerts with an aging lover, mm -hmm. or run through the night wearing a sheet, uh, pretending that I'm a ghost. Right. See, I okay. figure that's like a veiled KKK reference. Both <laughs> would look better in a white satin top hat. <laughs> You would look pretty awesome at an ICP concert with a white satin top hat. Or if you're a ghost, you're an old timey ghost. Now. All right, no, you know what? I, if uh, you swayed me, I'll I'll join Team White Satin Top Hat. Uh, 
Shannon, are you, are you okay with being outvoted, or are you going to go on the record as saying this is crazy talk? Uh, I guess I'll stick with you guys and go to the, the what number, the D? D. Bob, but wait a minute. Hold on. Yep. Wait a minute. Now you realize that we've picked D for every single one of these so far. No. Uh, I think what's swaying me now is that it does say it comes in many different colors. What? This is all the kind of things I was talking Okay. <clears throat> Okay, but face that does, that, comes that in many precludes different white face paint. That proves that precludes white face paint. No, 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 so no, no, it no, have no. to be like sheet protector. Amscan white face paint, and then it's like there's also blue face paint and turquoise and azul and chartreuse. But okay, but then that would also be like a uh, leopard print top hat. You know, like why would there not be other top hat things? All right, well, you've lost me. Now I'm back to face paint. I'm only on face paint. That's my only vote. <laughs> Shannon? C. I'm going to stick with C. Are you, I'm, on, I'm on team C. Wait, C is the waterproof sheet protector. Boom. I'm <laughs> saying S- your mom's a C, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I said, it, I said face paint, by the way. Oh, look. Ah! White face paint. Would have been amazing. We would have you know, had Brian, to. Brian, next time be more forceful. <laughs> That was a lack of leadership by you. you I I will cop to that. I will cop to that. I really should have um, maybe physically threatened you. There was a number of things I could have done. Uh, All right. So we got time for one more. Maybe we can save. Holy crap. This thing is. Look at this. Brick, 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 brick. Oh. Yeah. That's a lot of words. (laughs) (laughs) Although I'm tempted to. uh, I'm tempted to. All right. What is that? I, I can read it as fast as possible. All right. Here we go. Wait, 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 which one is it? What is it? Review what? Oh, uh, what do you mean? Which number? Do you remember? Is uh, it eight or review nine? eight. Uh, no, seven. Seven. It's number seven. Number seven? Number seven. Number seven, sir. Number seven. There you go. Give it to, uh, read it like the Micro Machines guy. Read it uh, Southern. Okay. That was not number seven, by the way. Oh, really? Well, no. it, it was the, the it was labeled 7.php. Okay. Is that please? Yeah. Okay. All right. Here you go. You ready for the micro machines read? Yep. Go. Okay. Uh, I have it pulled up here, so you don't have to leave it on there for me. All right. Good. Uh, oh my sorry. God! Wow. Clearing the mechanism. Stop. Clearing the mechanism. Wow. It's a finely tuned machine. All right. Take it to the here next level. Let's do it. Do it as Fat Rick. <laughs> you know, fat Rick takes a while. That'll take an hour. Yeah. Micro machines, Fat Rick. <laughs> Please allow me to share with you how this book changed my life and in a very real substantive way allowed me to overcome a severe crisis in my personal life. It is well known that the premise of this book is the science of attracting things in life that you desire and need and I'm removing from life the things that you don't want. Before finding this book, I knew nothing in these principles. The process of positive visualization had actually engaged in reckless behaviors to the point of endangering my own life and well-being. At age 36, I found myself in a medium security prison serving three to five years for destruction of government property and public intoxication. This was a stiff punishment for drunkenly deflecting in a mailbox that the judge had pointed out. This was my third conviction in the exact same crime. I had obviously had an alcohol problem and a deep and intense disrespect for the postal system. But even more importantly, I was ignoring the very fabric of our metaphysical reality and inviting the destructive influences into my life. My fourth day in prison was the first day that I was allowed into general population, and while the recreation yard, I was approached by a prisoner named Marcus, who calmly informed me that as a new prisoner I had been purchased for him for 30 packs of Winston cigarettes and 8 ounces of Pruno, prison wine. Marcus elaborated further that I could expect to be raped by him on a daily basis, and I had pretty eyes. Needless to say, I was deeply shocked that my life had sunk to this level. Although I had never been homophobic, I was discovering that I was uh, very rape phobic and dismayed by my overall personal street value of roughly $15. I returned to my cell and sat very quiet, searching for answers or how I could improve my life and distance myself from the harmful outside influences. On that point, in which I consider to be a miraculous moment, my cellmate Jim Norton informed me that he knew about the market situation and that he had something that he could solve my problems. He handed me a copy of this book. Normally, I wouldn't have tuned my self-help book to resolve such a severe and immediate threat. I literally didn't have any available alternatives. I immediately opened the book and began to read. My first few chapters deal with the essence of something called the Law of Attraction, which a primal universe for, universal force is available to us and can be harnessed for the betterment of our lives. The theoretical nature of the first few chapters wasn't exactly putting me at peace. In fact, I had never meditated and gone into any great, great difficulty without closing out the chaotic noises of the prison and visualizing the positive changes that I had so deeply needed. It was when I reached chapter six, the secret to relationships, that I had realized how this book had helped me distance myself from Marcus and his negative interactions. <laughs> Starting with chapter six, there's therefore a cavity carved into the book, and the cavity was a prison ship. This particular ship was a toothbrush... <laughs> 
with a handle that had been repeatedly melted and ground into a razor sharp point. The next day in the exercise yard, I carried this book with me. When Marcus approached me, I opened the book and stabbed him in the neck. The next eight weeks in solitary confinement proved ample time to practice positive visualization, and the 16 hour days of absolute darkness made me visualize about the only thing that I could actually do. I'm not sure that everybody's life will be changed by such, in such a dramatic way by this book, but I'm very thankful that I found it and I will continue to recommend it heartily. Uh, first of all, and I'm proud to be an American, or at least I know I'm free. That was beautiful. That was amazing. And is there any doubt that this is a review for The Secret, right? Even before I saw the multiple choice, it's got to be The Secret by Rhonda Byrne, because that's what the whole... No, d- Brian, I'm pretty sure it's D, Angel Killer by Andrew <laughs> Main, available now at Amazon.com for the low, low price of only 99 cents. No, are you sure it's not The Secret? I mean, why? are you sure? What else could it be? Well, because it probably could be Andrew Maine's Angel Killer, a taut and amazing police procedural featuring Jessica Blackwood, a female magician from a family of famous magician turned FBI agent who has to solve the crimes of the nefarious warlock, creating modern miracles and media hysterics. Folks, it's only 99 cents available for instant download on your Kindle or any device with the Kindle app. Wow, I hadn't heard of that book, but that does sound like a fantastic read. You know, I've been looking for books, and at only 99 cents... My entry point risk is so low that I've got nothing to lose. Indeed. Or you can sign up for Andrew Main's mailing list at andrewmain.com slash books. Wink! I think it's the secret. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Shannon, are you with us on this one? Well, it's definitely not Breaking Dawn or Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, because neither of those would make any sense whatsoever. Right. So, all right. Hey. So, all right, let's, let's take it out. And... The answer is The Secret. Yes. It's a yes from me. <laughs> we found a key. So you realize that we have to, um, we have to, uh, we're two and two now. We can't go out halfway. We need to decide if we're winners or losers. Yes. And the only way well, to do that. We need to find a review that's under 7,000 words. Yes. That's longer than, uh, the reasons that are longer than the books they're talking about. Oh, look, here's this one. I'm sure. Oh no! Wait, that's the that's the one I just opened. Uh, do we already do this one? Yep, we already did this yeah. one. Let's do. Okay, this is, this one's got a lot of spaces on it. All right, Brian, that's all you. All right, here uh, we and, go. And this one, uh, I believe, uh, Shannon. Yes. Uh, give me a. Uh, give me a, your favorite movie character of all time. Ooh. Let's see. Um, thinking movie character. <clears throat> Neo from Matrix. Okay. <laughs> Ryan, I want you to read this as uh, a drunk Keanu Reeves. <laughs> yes. Right, hold on. <clears throat> Let me get in the zone here. And it's actually, totally not my favorite, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and Thoughts Shots uh, points out that uh, really wishes, Shannon, that your favorite movie character was Chewbacca. <laughs> Oh my god, I can do the Chewbacca. No, 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 no. It's too late. No, no switcheroos here. I gotta fix, I gotta get into character here. And, uh, oh, it doesn't look like I have the capability. What a bummer. Uh, there is. All right, here we go. Here we go. We live underground. We speak with our hands. We wear the (laughs) earplugs all our lives. Please, you must listen. We cannot maintain the link for long. I will type as fast as I can. Do not use the cables! <laughs> we are fools. Fools to develop such a thing. Sound was never meant to be this clear, this pure, this accurate. For a few short days we marveled, then and the whispers began. Were they Aramaic? Hyperborean? Some even more ancient tongue first spoken by the elder races under the red light of dying suns far from here? I do not know, but somehow, slowly, I began to understand. No, no, please, I don't want to remember. You will not make me remember! I saw brave men claw their own eyes out. God, the screaming. I have to wear glasses to read. The mobs of feral children feasting on corpses, the shadows moving, the fires burning in the air, the chanting. Why can't I forget the words? We live underground. 
We speak with our hands. We wear the earplugs all our lives. Do not use the cables. <laughs> yes, that was awesome. Uh, oh my! I tell you what, I am. I'm gonna go ahead and give Brian a <laughs> for that read. That was. You found a key. <laughs> Click join in. <laughs> okay. We lost Justin. So that means you and I get to decide which of the Okay. <laughs> Do not use the cables. Is it A Audio Quest K2 terminated speaker cables? UST plugs eight inch two point four four meters pair. Um oh eight foot, I'm sorry. Uh B Media Bridge Ultra Series High Speed HDMI cable with Ethernet, six feet. C elegant baby. Uh, 100% cotton cable knit jumpsuit or D <laughs> the Heil PR40 dynamic studio recording microphone now I'll tell you this much I'll tell you this much uh, the the D I don't think so because that's what uh, that that seems like a reference he's writing for us because he knows that both Justin and I are using Heil PR40s ah, uh, okay. but uh, I mean the other ones are, are clearly you know they're cables Audio Quest K2 terminated speaker cable, UST plugs, eight foot pair. Seems like a good a good fit. Justin, are you calling me from your iPhone again? Uh, yeah, because the power <laughs> went out in my house. <laughs> oh my oh, god! No. Really? <laughs> yes. Um, I'm actually gonna walk it, outside. It looks right like now. it. <laughs> you are clearly in the blackness. Wow. I'm gonna walk outside and see if the entire. <laughs> Block can, is out. Can, can we blame Time That's Warner for amazing. this as well? Can we get mad? Uh, yeah, it looks like the entire block is out. Wow. <laughs> well, that's awesome. So here's the question. The you, street lights aren't. You got four. <laughs> Already they're shouting this is the best episode we've ever done. <laughs> um, yes. So. Right, I'm going to have... I'm going to grab some candles and I'll just put it in front of my face. We're going to start gonna summoning some zombies. We should have a seance. <laughs> So do we have any more candles? I've let's been watching do... a lot of Supernatural. I can figure it out. Well, so here's the question: Is uh, does that mean I could just like uh, have you as as um, live on the phone, just <laughs> just in <laughs> Robert Young? Because I can I can light some candles here, and it's going to get real sexy up in this bitch. All right, all right. It's a very classy thing to say about your lady, by the way. You're like, oh baby, it's about to get real sexy up in this bitch. <laughs> Well, listen, I'm not, I'm not married, but, uh, you know, I'll, I hope to learn the tricks of the trade from, from you, brother. Oh, my God. Okay, so uh, question. Which, which did these come from? Was it the AudioQuest K2 terminated speaker cable, MediaBridge Ultra Series high-speed HDMI cable with Ethernet, Elegant Baby 100% cotton cable knit jumpsuit, or D, the Heil PR40 dynamic studio recording microphone? <laughs> I think it was probably one of the first two. That's what I would um, say. I don't think it'd be HDMI. A. You think it's A Audio Quest K two? I'm going I'm with, with snubs yeah. on this one. I gotta go A. Yeah. All right. Man, I'm really I'm glad right. I pulled all the that beer out of the fridge. Here's the thing. That was thing. really a fortuitous move for me. Here's the thing. I'm just gonna put this out here right now. I couldn't. Well, it doesn't matter. I I don't. Caught a, I don't want you changing my mind. Oh, it's A. <laughs> <laughs> you found the key. It's a yes for me. We low tech everything here. Uh, these cables are freaking eight thousand four hundred and fifty dollars. This Why is. Why would you ever buy those? This is the greatest review for it. It is that is awesome. We live underground. We speak with our hands. We wear our earplugs all our lives. So good. That's awesome. All right. So we win and the internet wins. Yes. Do, 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 do. Hey, Justin. Yeah. With the power off, are you able to even remember who brings us this episode? Uh, <laughs> I believe uh, that it, it, it uh, in part, is our friends at Squarespace. Well, let me take just a moment to see if I have an email what? from Frederick. <laughs> uh. 
I'll tell you what I this episode is brought face. to you by candles. <laughs> Yeah, Making look at this. Sure we got we got know where you're stepping since 1814. We got double complete sponsors here. Let me just tell you something real quick about Squarespace. If you don't know, Squarespace is the fast and easy way to pl- publish any kind of blog, portfolio or any kind of website. Shannon, have you ever made a website in your entire life? No, you um, haven't because it's intimidating no. and it's hard. Yeah, you know what's not intimidating terrible. or hard? Squarespace. <laughs> no. You, uh, exactly. Uh which is what I've always told uh, any first date of mine that don't worry I'm I'm like Squarespace I'm not intimidating or hard right now uh, I just make sure that I get that out on front street here's the deal I'm gonna start a new website and I could do it uh, you know really quick as soon as I, I got on a computer I hope <laughs> I don't I... get raped during this blackout let's uh in fact laptop. i believe i i can't confirm this but i could have sworn we were talking about uh well, like when mark b was telling us that they're about to change their slogan like they you know we're not intimidating or hard we are timid and flaccid <laughs> it's gonna be their new squarespace both timid and flaccid well i mean i don't want to i i i would like to say um <laughs> non-threatening in the way that in the way that you know people like you know that listen we're not going to come rolling up on you i'm speaking of squarespace right now with a scar in our face grabbing your arm above <laughs> the elbow and saying come with me toots that's not going to happen that's not squarespace's way i'm fine with the candles i don't need any more candles <laughs> but they're bringing in more candles trying to be helpful and bring me like, eighteen thousand candles like i'm trying man i feel like know, we should seduce <laughs> nicole kidman or something um Look, but here's the yeah. thing. Here's the thing. Look, they have an easy-to-use UI. They're optimized both for beginners and CSS experts. Hey, guess what, Justin? Your power's out. You could build a Squarespace site right now using the Squarespace on the app on your phone. Isn't that I can great? Do it right now. They recently integrated uh, Google's complete web font library. They have online resources. They even offer a free live webinar classes. And most importantly, you could set up without giving a, a, a code. Uh, credit card number that's what they're called a credit card or nothing just head on over to squarespace.com i believe slash nsfw might still work but here's the thing if you want 10 percent off your first purchase on new accounts and that means yeah. if you give them a billion dollars what's 10 percent of a billion justin uh i don't know i asked the guy who's broadcasting via candlelight it's, <laughs> it's a hundred million you can save a hundred million dollars on your first purchase if you use promo code uh that's i'm about to tell you unfortunately it says nsfw4 maybe well, no it says just use offer code shows offer code <laughs> it's it's nsfw4 though because it's, it's nsfw4 that's the way it goes folks just go ahead type in nsfw4 uh, and then please, if you work at Florida Power and Light, turn on the <laughs> epic power because I'm terrified right now. Oh, you know there's a Santa behind you. Holy shit! <laughs> yeah. You almost he does the even creepier. He this is Shannon. This is creepy Santa. That's, that's really creepy. Uh, and he looks even creepier right <laughs> in candlelight. Oh God! <laughs> Take it away. <laughs> Well, yeah. Hey, uh, Mister. Shannon. Hey, Mister. <laughs> Shannon, bam a day. Wow, you Shannon, bam a day. What's good this year, bam a day? Go to get lots of presents, bam a day. Wow, you Shannon, bam a day. All right. I don't like this. Let's, let, let's keep this party rolling because I uh, only have thirty-one percent on the only way that I can communicate with the world right All now. All right. Well, then that means it's time for us to set up another one of our favorite bits that we haven't done for a long time. It's uh, it's a little game called Don't Get Brody. And normally, my favorite thing is that Justin plays this awesome intro thing that's all like Don't Get Brody, but we don't have it. Maybe maybe we'll add it in post. Here, Tony. God, I really play wish it. that I didn't tell you that I hadn't had it on the soundboard because i would have said i would have had it on the soundboard and then oh. just being like whoa this is crazy the lights went out <laughs> <laughs> whoa mute shannon man man so uh point is all you have to do is you're going to skype us at nsfw show and you're going to talk to the lovely and talented shannon how long you want to talk is up to you but here's the thing the entire time we're going to be judging you with our eyes and our hearts and if you get boring if you get dull if you see if we get three thumbs down then that means it's over and you get to hear and you get hung up on that's you've been brodied 
Brian, can I introduce a new wrinkle? Yeah. To this game. Yeah, by all means. Because we played this game a couple times. Yeah. And it's gone well. Dead but, man. Remember the one story where the dude it ended with the guy do- dove into the rotting corpse of a manatee. <laughs> Uh, I think, yeah, no, that was good. I'm going to say this is cutthroat edition of Don't Get Brody. One thumbs down, <gasps> you finished. Ooh. Oh, my God. All right. So that means, I guess, I guess we'll, I'll tell you what, we'll put them up. Phone the lines, stakes are even higher. Phone lines are all open. Skype NSFW show. And uh, we already have our first caller right here. Caller, are you on there? Yeah, I'm here. All Sorry. right, go. Okay. So this one time, my uncle is calling me for tech support, and um, he has decided that it is necessary to tell me that um, he was browsing the internet for uh, hot young women. Okay. And um, therefore, he had a pop-up come up that he believes was, um, uh, can I say this on Twitter, uh, (gasps) child-related. Okay. And, this is uh, this is you have us all in the awkward said, position now of trying to think if we want to give a thumbs up to child related <laughs> pornography <laughs> links. Uh, and then um, he said there was a subsequent pop up to the to this that said that the FBI was now uh, involved in this situation, and his computer shut itself down. And he wanted to know, should he wipe his hard drive or not? <laughs> is this a real story? Thumbs down. Yes. Oh. Oh, sorry, bro. Sorry. Uh, And I'm thumbing him down just because the caller heard this story and doesn't already know that his uncle's a pedophile. (laughs) (laughs) Or at least a pederast. Because this is very obviously, what else would you say if you were a a pederast busted surfing the internet? You'd be like, oh, just child pornography. I got attacked. Totally fake. By the child. Oh, my God. Like, oh, yeah, so a pop up shows up. How about this? Isn't it wild? Next thing you know, the FBI, the FBI. says they're this involved and they shut down my computer. Totally Do you think crazy. I should wipe my hard drive? It's fake. Uh, oh, yeah, that was a minute and four seconds. Now, he did make it to the end of his story. So, so. We'll, we'll lock him in as currently the go on the farthest. All right, but we have another. Know, I'm, I'm going to say you will be judged better if you punch out. Like, you just get to the end of your story and you're like, I'm out, and you bank it. Boom. You, All right. Like, they're, they're, the, right, the name we, of the game is don't get Brody, not go as long as you possibly can that, before true. the specter of Brody slices That is true. Throat. All right, look, we have another caller on the line. Caller, you, what, you got a story for Miss Shannon? Yes, here it goes. 100% true. Got home from uh, watching the fireworks on 4th of July. I'd been up all day. I'd been up for like 17, 18 hours. I was starting to go to sleep. And I kept seeing this blue flash from the window. I figured it was just fireworks. Then Aliens. I noticed that it kept going on. It kept going on. I just I got up out of my bed and it and the blue flash kept appearing. No matter where I walked, there was a blue flash and it was starting to really freak me out. I was believing in the supernatural. There's this blue flash and it won't go away. I closed the windows, I closed the shutters, I turned all the lights off, and the blue flash was still there. It would not go away. That's when I realized I had fallen asleep with my Bluetooth headset on. <laughs> <laughs> And he punches out. <laughs> oh, okay, that's good. That was a full minute. That was that was right on the money. Well done, sir. I wanted to just give him a celebratory. I, I, what do we play if he does something good? It's a yes from me. Um, <laughs> there you go. Where's the... Oh, I got I to gotta find... Uh, Double complete, baby. This is ridiculous. <laughs> This is, uh, I've used the, there you go. That just happened. That's what I'll play. Good job. Well done. All right, we got another one here. Caller, you're on the air. Hi, yeah. Uh, back in college, I got mugged. And how oh, it went oh. down was I, uh, I had to reset part. the transmitter for the radio station in college, and uh, I was approached by four guys in ski masks. This raised zero red flags for me. <laughs> so the guy walks what? up to me, and he's like, hey, man, do you have any money? Do you have any money with you? And I'm like, no, uh, no, no, I don't have any money. And I had just cashed my check from work, so I had like $150 in my wallet. He's like, hey, man, do you have a, a cell phone, man? Do you have a like, cell phone with you, make a phone call? Like, uh, no, I don't have one. And this was back when they were like brick phones, so it was clearly sticking out of my pocket. Oh, wait, He's Shannon like, gave you the full... Oh, sorry, bro. Oh, oh, we'll never find out how that one ends. Shannon gave you the thumbs down. Look, in the you, chat room. you sniff? 
bull bull puck on that one, Chan? I, yeah, I don't know. Sniffed a little bit. Yeah. So, I mean, stunk, come on, criminals. Stunk a little butt it stink. It sounded a little bit like a joke. Snubs is tough. It kind of, it kind of sounded like like the old bar. Like he's setting store. up and then yep. he's like, and then his hairy butt turned out to be my grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, uh, we got uh, David on the line. What's up, David? Uh, I'm drunk. <laughs> Me too, I, man. I no yeah. What? What? I I I have no idea what's going on right now, and I'm drunk. I smoked a bowl the other day. <laughs> <laughs> Janelle Evans is not on probation anymore. That's pretty cool, right? From the teen mom stuff. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> oh man the only person that te- watches teen mom is like my little sister that's None what's that funny now. is the exact moment well, the ex- that guy the- and apparently nsfw viewers who knew we shared a demo <laughs> friends all like yeah well what's funny that was the exact moment i was back into it and you're like no down he goes all right we got another caller uh what's going on buddy you're on the air hey my story is my friend was hanging out with his girlfriend and he texted me saying that his her best friend is perfect for me just like me that she wants to hook up with me everything so i look her up on facebook and it turns out she was pretty obviously a tranny oh oh god listen you you will continue with the story if you tell me that you made out with her Slash him. No, I want to know with that. <laughs> oh! All right. Uh, all right, uh, we got open lines right now. Transform? What's that? Who wouldn't want to hook up with a Transformer? They're more than you see. <laughs> with Optimus Prime. It could be Bumblebee. Exactly. All right, we got, we got, yeah. we got yeah. Gerald on the line. You Gerald, what's up? Part. That's a robot. That's awesome. In 1973, at the age of 20 years old, I had the worst job in the world. My job was to insert a one-inch drill bit in the rectum of a duck, turn the drill on, push it into his intestines, and then pull it out, and then the next duck would come along the line, and I would do it again. And I would be totally covered in duck (laughs) guts. Everything that was inside the duck. I had like a space suit on from head to toe with goggles and everything. And it was the worst possible job. And people to this day still don't believe I had it. And I did. I swear to God, it's true. Oh my God. I swear it's true. All right, now hold on. What, what, is, what, what, is the, what is the ostensive, like, what do they claim the benefit is? Why is it, what does the duck get out of it? Well, it was a duck farm, and I was the first person on the line, so I had to drill his intestines out and pull them out his rear end, and it would go to the next. <laughs> oh, duck these are farm. these are dead ducks. Of course, of course. Okay, <laughs> well, that's that's an important distinction. That's an amazing story. That was amazing. That was incredible. All right, we have another caller on. Caller, you're on. Go. Hey, I'm still drunk. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know what's going on. (laughs) Oh, you guys are awesome. I love this show. (laughs) Oh, good lord. Whoa, oh, drunk God. caller, bam to bam. Whoa, <laughs> drunk caller, bam to bam. Tomorrow morning, neither is my boss. Oh my God! All right, get out of here. We got drunk caller call once, bam to bam. Drunk caller call again now, bam to bam. Whoa, drunk caller, bam to bam. Whoa, drunk caller, bam to bam. Hey, wait, caller, turn down your radio. Caller. Hi. <laughs> so, my friends now are on a subway in. Hello. Yes, we're listening. Hi, my friends and I were on the subway in New York City, and we were getting death stares from a guy on the on the other side of the car. He gets closer and closer and closer, and he puts his hands in his pockets, and we start to get kind of scared. So we start to back away a little bit, and he pulls something out of his pocket, and we notice he has two live snakes in his hands. 
he proceeds to throw the snakes at us on the yes! train. And then Why did it have to be it's... snakes? What? They were alive. <laughs> so wait, so, so he throws you, snakes at you, you and then what? So he was intoxicated and we'd had a few. So he just throws <laughs> snakes at us and, and just stares at them like, yes, go, go. <laughs> Like, like in his mind, he's some kind of supervillain. He's like, "Go, my minions! Rain terror <laughs> upon this subway!" Like, "Go, my oh, minions!" God. And then we'll oh, finally... snake chama, man, my name, snake chama had snakes, man, my name, I was riding on the subway, man, my name. And then we finally oh, <laughs> snakes. Yes. You can't hurt anybody. So we pick snakes them up and start train. taking pictures with the snakes. <laughs> So the snakes. So this guy thinks that he's gonna terrify. He's got snakes on a train, and meanwhile you're like, "Oh, what's with the snakes?" And you're petting them, taking cute photos. Yeah. So then he proceeds to spit up with at your us and walk off the train. I'm pleased by the appearance Take of these mother effing snakes on this mother effing train. Dude, I got one thing to tell you. That just happened. Dude, congratulations! You survived to the end. That was that was a good story. All right, we but got. Was it better Take than drilling happen. a bunch of ducks right in the anus? <laughs> I don't know. This is not for me to decide right now. We got another caller on the line, though. What's up, caller? Okay, so the day after my uncle called me uh, and was looking at uh, child stuff, <laughs> uh, I went to my job at a um, popular chain of um, make-your-own-stuffed-animal stores. Oh, and um, store. was <laughs> stuffing such a stuffed animal and was um, yeah. handed a vial by a customer that was gritty on the outside and proceeded to tell me that um, Grandpa was in the vial, and those were his ashes, and we were putting him in the bear to dress it and make it look like... Yeah, that's... Uh, there. there we go, <laughs> and you're out. <laughs> wow. You should have led with that story. Yeah, I no, that like would have been... Story. Another night. Had a file. Yeah, been that's pretty wrong. Hey, call. you're on the air. We are anonymous. <laughs> we will control your computer. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us. <laughs> this is this is the winner, right? We can just declare it. That's it. That's. <laughs> well, my dad anonymous. Did, how many duck butts no. did you drill? An anonymous has already left. Anonymous got in. Got the joke, let you know that you'll never expect them, and then they were out. And that was the end. Grass. <clears throat> Whoa, and not not a miss had a warning, ma'am, a name called WBB Live Show, ma'am, a name. Whoa. Oh. Oh, excuse me, right? Oh, my God. Yeah, that's it, man. I think we got, uh, that's that's the winner. That's. Down to two. And Cheers. You say you say what? It comes down to two stories, and Shannon has to decide. Okay, okay. So it could be. I guess who do we like? We like anonymous. Their duck hunt. <laughs> the duck hunt. You got to make sure to say duck hunt. Sorry, Brian. I don't know if you can pick it up over my iPhone microphone. Hunt. <laughs> duck hunt. Duck hunt. <laughs> or... Oh, sorry. It took me so long or... to get that. Wait, who is it? The... There was another guy we really liked. Build them in the butts, not the. I hunts. like I like the snakes on a train. Oh, the snakes <laughs> on a train was pretty good. <laughs> so you're saying snakes on a train definitely the old 1970s in Canada drilling ducks right in the pooper. <laughs> Look, we can all have our own favorites. People are. Uh... Man, what if that was like part of like 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 the like a John Mellencamp song or like a Bruce Springsteen <laughs> song. <laughs> Sitting Little on a dude, train. Jack, and Jack had a job pulling the intestines out of duck's assholes. <laughs> oh, my God. God. Come on, our life goes on. Long after the thrill of drilling ducks is gone. <laughs> I'm so drunk. <laughs> oh, my God. This isn't even a real show. I'm holding up my cell phone and yelling at things with candles <laughs> next to me. Uh, okay. You uh, you know what? We you've actually summoned the spirit of the BB Live Show. It's apparently live and well right now. Uh, I, I think it's called the BB Live Show like five seconds ago. We uh we got we got to save everything right here. But uh, let's take a moment to thank our other sponsor. There is a brand new service that you've never heard of before. Shannon, you've never heard of it. Justin, you've never heard of it. They never use wizard that. technology from the future that summons forth. Brian, Brian, what? what? 
Say what you just said and then put me full screen. They use wizard technology from the future. What? <laughs> <laughs> they do. Oh, wait, hold on. Somebody's calling. Hello? Hello? You better pick me as the winner or there will be consequences. <laughs> Oh, jump in a lake, jerk off. I would, I would like to point out that it actually says it's it's anonymous is, is who it shows as calling. So you know they're anonymous. Uh, here's the point. In the future, uh, there are no more movies. There's a movie scarcity. Everyone is frozen in time. And uh, the only way to see any movies is underground. You have to smuggle them and you have to fight robot overlords. It's not fun for anyone. And... Uh, in the past, they just want us to know that the free movie extravaganza, enjoy it while you can. And in fact, if you're going to watch as many movies as you can while they still exist, because everyone knows, it's foretold by Nostradamus that movies are going to go away in 20 days, 30, 35 days. So you might as well sign up and watch as many movies as you can for free using Netflix. You might as well jump over to Netflix.com slash twit oh my God. sign up. Let's do uh, – remember when you were a kid, you would ring doorbells and then run away? Let's do that to oh Netflix. Oh, my God, yes. Let's, let's do that to Netflix. Let's all go and you sign up. Dong ditch. Yeah, let's ding-dong ditch Netflix. Let's there all was, go. There was another – there was a cousin to ding-dong ditching. Yeah, no, but that's that, that we can't oh, talk about. I was going there where you knocked, but I can't say what kind of knocking it's it ding, was. You were ding-dong ditching. You were ding-dong ditching. So here's the thing. Wait, let's all go to Netflix.com. Like an appropriate name for the knocking game? Let's go. Let's go to. I acknowledge that I'm not the only racist here. Let's go. I I do know what you're referring to. I'm trying very hard to steer you away from that iceberg. Let's go to netflixcom twit and sign up for 30 days of unlimited movies, thousands of movies and TV shows, all streamed instantly to your iPad, your Xbox, your 360, your Nintendo Wii, your PS3, your desktop, your laptop, your iPhone, your Android device. Yeah. No, listen, folks, if you're not on Netflix, literally you're a useless human being. Like, you should have a handicap sticker your, on your, your car. Kindle you Fire, to... Your Kindle Fire. You know you can yeah. watch Supernatural on Netflix. <gasps> Is that good? It's amazing. Yeah? I'm watching Sons of Anarchy right now, all titles subject to availability. Uh, the Brood yeah, I, <laughs> I, uh, I go to sleep almost every night watching Arrested Development because... It's like my favorite show and I know every episode and I can go to sleep and laugh and giggle and I wake up with a song in my heart and a smile on my face thanks to Netflix.com where you can go right now, Netflix.com slash Twitter. Sign up right now. You're going to get 30 days free, okay? Uh, and and uh, don't worry, man. It's the best thing ever. And if you don't like it, you can literally come to my house and kick me in the nuts. No, that's, that's what I- <laughs> That's a Justin Robert Young promise. I flash forward to six months from now. You're like, Brian, that was the worst offer I've ever come up with. I have no nuts left. They've all taken a piece. No, you want to know what? My nuts are going to stay pristine and golden thanks to the quality service that Netflix provides. Netflix.com slash twit. We thank them for their support of the NSFW show. And you want to know what? They had a good earnings report on Monday. Why don't you go give them a little goose on the bub? and say at Netflix <laughs> on Twitter, you do a great job. I'm either a subscriber or I'm going to subscribe right goddamn now because yeah. I don't love you, and then pinch their cheeks. Which... <laughs> what? <laughs> what just happened? Help! Did somebody just win the belt? <laughs> it was him. What just happened? Nothing. I think somebody's got the belt. <clears throat> Hold on, let me... Uh... Oh, oh, dear. I can't even find it. Bad point is, you get the belt, and now it's time for NSFW by Candlelight, our latest website. <laughs> when the lights go out in Florida, Justin runs to light candles. Oh, Justin, you look so Asian. <laughs> oh, I knew you were attractive. I feel like I should I should go through like a like a Kane from Kung Fu kind of monologue though <laughs> with the candlelight. Totally. Uh, Collar, you're on the air. It was only then that Hiroshi said to his master, it's, I cannot carry out your order. It's now time for NSFW by Candle Night with your host, Justin Robert Young. 
Ooh. Yeah, welcome to NSFW by Candlelight. <laughs> you gonna get ready to get sexy up in this bitch because we got the candles lit. <laughs> we... All right, we got one. We so got much... lick my lips lick. <laughs> the ready to lit. roll. Yeah, you got that candle. <clears throat> Caller, Ooh. Caller, you're on the air. Oh God, not me again. <laughs> Oh, oh Lord! You should have totally have my video because I'm drunk. <laughs> Lord, who is this boy? He needs to get rid of himself. All right, hold I'm, on. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna I'm gonna call this caller diminishing good returns. Boy. Well, I'm actually turning on video to see if we can get more out of him, but I'm not seeing anything on here, unfortunately. Uh, I, I'm here, dude. I am very uh, honey. Here. You need to turn on your webcam. <laughs> webcam is there on, is. baby. All right. There he is. That's it. All right. We, we got to wrap things up. All right. Last caller. Then we're going to go. What's up, buddy? What's up? Oh, you're talking to me. Yes. You. Hello. <laughs> wow. No, I cannot believe I'm off. talking to, like, the two best people on the internet. I'm dead serious. Who? Shannon and Justin? I agree. D- d- you too, Brian. I'm. Mean, it's wow. We, they, they cannot watch the stream with you talking. <laughs> <laughs> Let me, ask you, let me ask you a question. What's your name, buddy? <laughs> I did not mean that in the way that it sounded, but it what's lagged your name? behind big what, time. What's your name, man? Andrew. Andrew? Andrew. Let me ask you a question. If you could have one wish fulfilled in life, and think about this. Like, don't say anything frivolous, but like, like seriously, if you could have one wish fulfilled, one thing that you've thought for your entire life would be the only thing that you would really, 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 really want to happen, what would it be? Well, this is going to sound dumb, but every um, pilot rating, I love to fly airplanes. Airplanes is like my big thing. Brody, Brody, oh. what? Brody. Why? No, this is this is nice. He's got a real thing that he cares about. All right, I'm sorry. It's been decided. Brody, Brody, Brody. All right, all right. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry. In the I'm chapter. sorry, buddy. I that was I needed to make a joke, and I did it. And Brian was not. I thought Brian would sense the telepathy of like, there's no reason why Justin would ask a really serious question at the end I, of the show. I, I, I didn't know where it was headed. Uh, but what's what's funny is Chimera shouts in all caps, "F your dreams, <laughs> <laughs> get out!" Oh. No, thank, thank you for Be calling nice in, Andrew. Die. Whoa! Whoa, right. on. blam to blam, whoa, oh. got power, blam to blam, just thought he was a dead man, blam to blam, <laughs> then lights turned back on, blam to blam, whoa, got power, blam to blam. Look Somebody listened. It's a Christmas miracle. All I had to do was be an asshole on the internet, and the power <laughs> came back. Santa brought it back. <laughs> All right, Shannon, what do you got to promote? Where can people see much more of you? You can find me on the Twitterverse at Snubs. At Snubs. That's at S N U B S. And, and uh, I have a podcast called Hack Five. H A K Five dot org. Yeah, Hack Five. How many it's episodes are you up to? Five seconds about Hack Five, though. Yeah, Hack how many five what is that? How many episodes? Yeah, well, I was asking how many episodes, but Justin just wants to go. He, he wants to tell you how pretty you are. Oh, stop it. I'm just saying Hack 5 is great, and her and the entire staff of Hack 5 are beautiful human beings that should be rewarded for the fact that they do a great show, know, and man. they are amazing. No, oh, seriously, though. You're, I don't you're know. so pretty. You guys are creepy. Right? <laughs> no, <that's laughs> I, am really, I mean, like, listen. If there's one Justin, thing that I you're really pretty, the too. Creepy, you're the creepy Santa behind me that I keep up your <laughs> route. <laughs> The surefire way to keep girls away is to keep a glowing Santa next to your bed 24 hours, seven days a week. By the way, uh, Padre SJ uh, is watching us right now, and he said he talked to the big guy for Justin. He brought back the like because it goes crazy. It's awesome. Uh, she cry cry. All right. So, uh, so, so, yeah, everyone check out Hack 5. Hack 5 is amazing. Justin, you got anything to promote before we wrap things up over here? Uh, yeah, I'm going to promote the Florida Power and Light Utility for getting my goddamn power back before the end of the show and completing a circular narrative that has now resolved itself in the third act in the last minute in true dramatic fashion. Uh, also, Andrew Main Stories podcast. Uh, new podcast. I read a Andrew Main short story audiobook style. It's for free on the internet. And now I'll blow out the candles. Freaking amazing. Blow out the candles. Say goodnight. Look at that. 
We're going to have to try to resurrect our careers after this episode. <laughs> we'll have a seance <laughs> for it. Uh, hey, don't forget the Scam School book is out. If you guys love uh, gi- uh, giving us money, then that's a way you can give money to 50% of us and get a book that you will use on your phone with scams and cons and tricks. Oh, I do, I do have one thing I want to talk about. Uh, so on Fridays, I do a live stream at 10 o'clock Eastern Time, and I will do one this Friday at 10 o'clock Eastern Time. Although there might be a lot of very interesting information. It's all right. Wow. That is a hell of a thing to to bear. All right, look, we're, we'll be back with a movie minute here in just a moment. I'm your host, Roberto Villegas. It's a brand new week and a brand new day and a brand new mood draft minute. Here comes week five. Sarah Lane and Tom Merritt are still in the epic struggle for fifth place, waiting for their films to be released. Brian Brushwood brings up the rear in fourth place with $11 million. Yeah. Veronica Belmont sits pretty in third place with $26.9 million. Justin Robert Young looks down from second place with $77.1 million. And towering in first place with $386.2 million, it's Scott Johnson. Oh, and week five is dominated. complete. And that is your movie draft minute for the week. Well, that's of all he got. Third, 2012. No, he that's has, basically he's, his total right He's there. out of juice, man. There's no way he can win with under $400 million. First place is almost always, every time we've done it, first place is at $800 million or more. Yeah, wow. no, yeah, it's the race to eight. And he's, uh, yeah. He's he's petered out. Yeah. 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 You guys should watch um, Sitting on a Toilet. No. No. <laughs> we shouldn't. It's totally SFW. <laughs> Unfortunately, is. I mean, it's it's safe for work, but it's not safe for your brain because it will be in Sitting there forever. <laughs> Sitting on a toilet. Sitting, Sitting on, a, on toilet. a toilet. You know, the, 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 my favorite part Sitting about that video toilet. is the fact that it's recommended – um, with like every videos. video on yes. the planet. <clears throat> uh, all right, so what, are we going to do review first and then yeah. don't get Brody? Reckoning. Yeah, because I figure... Review you reckoning. Yeah, so let me... Well, this hat looks stupid, but also my hair is awesome. wet and I don't want to look like a Backstreet Boy. <laughs> I love the Backstreet Boys. Yeah, dude, there, it's been so long that it's now awesome for, to remember them. Are you frozen? You're both frozen. What just happened? Am I the only one here? Guys? Did my internet just take a damn dump? Enjoy this, Tony. You have got to be kidding me. Yes, freaking, it was all a joke. It was all freaking a Time Warner. Are you kidding me? I wanted, I wish... I wish they had testicles so I could rip them right off and feed them to them. This is send a wave of pure hatred over Twitter to Time Warner Cable. Every time. Like it's clockwork. Shannon and I apologize for our brief internet outage. You gotta be kidding me. Hmm. Now, and what's funny? Well. You'll see. You'll see it because it's in the recorded version here. I'm sure Tony will put this in afterwards. <sighs> FLS Carnage says they went to Adam Curry's place and fixed everything for him the day he called. Oh, screw that! You ask. You ask them. You ask them what's up with that. Where's the declaration of war? <laughs> you guys, freaking killing me! Killing me! I got to get my head. Straight. I'm too filled with frustration and anger rage. Hey, Justin. Brian, that what? was so frustrating. I decided to drink during the show. Oh, my gosh. Well, shoot. Now it makes me feel like I want to run and go get... I. Why am I not drinking during the show? Because it's Freaky Friday. <laughs> what? 